Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And this morning, AT&T released their second quarter earnings and they had their earnings call and there was something that they presented. They've never presented this before. This is the first time that during an earnings call, they present the Convergence Opportunity Slideshow. And they have some very, very, very interesting numbers and statistics on this chart that they're telling the market. I believe, I personally believe, AT&T posted this because of how Verizon talked about convergence at their earnings call. So they don't want the, the, the market feeding into too much of what Verizon is saying around convergence. AT&T is telling the market the convergence is working. So for an example, just a quick example, Verizon talked very negative about the whole satellite situation. Both of their MNO competitors moved towards satellite. So Verizon had no choice but to move to satellite. And what happened? Even after all the negative talk, oh, get an iPhone if you want satellite service. And what happened? They signed up with AST. So now Verizon is talking bad about convergence. Uh, it doesn't really work. That th Those are the words of, of, of Tony Skiatis and, and, and Hans Vesberg during the earnings call. We don't see the European model working in the U.S. That, that's, that's, that's their language. That's their tone. And then Hans goes, uh, I don't see the need to discount uh, bundling my, my services. That, that, those are the, that's, that's the tone and language that they used at their earnings call. AT&T this morning has their earnings and they present a convergence opportunity and it clearly works. It's working. And this will also give you guys more context around why AT&T is investing more into fiber versus wireless. So out of the total AT&T fiber subscribers, the 8.8 .8 million, AT&T was able to sign up 3.5 million of those 8.8 .8 with the converged offer. That's 40%, almost 40%. That's huge. So that means 3.5 million customers of the 8.8 .8 signed up with wireless. That is a huge conversion rate. That is huge success in the world of business. So you best believe AT&T is going to go crazy on this fiber because it's easier to sign up wireless. Right? If, if AT&T just went at it with, with wireless and they invested more, it wouldn't have the same return. It wouldn't have the, sa the same result. That is a huge... So out of the 200 and... I think it was 239,000 fiber customers that they added for, for the second quarter, 40, by this, going by this number, right? 40% of those customers signed up with wireless as well. And, th and those numbers, they will get more, greater and staggering as AT&T continues uh, to, to take on the march of more homes past. And now that will include open access fiber. They're going to try to get those partnerships the same as T-Mobile. And that's why T-Mobile is pivoting, because T-Mobile also sees the convergence opportunity. They also want to bundle in the areas with the partners that they're, that they're partnering with, the, the companies that they have stake in, Lumos, and now Metronet, you better believe they're going to converge. You better believe they're going to sell their wireless services as well. There is no way they're just going to sell the fiber. They're going to attach at a high rate. They're also going to attach wireless. And T-Mobile, just like AT&T, they will continue to deepen that footprint. So Verizon, unless they're going to do the converged offering with its FWA, they will have to at some point present that opportunity as well because the market is shifting towards that. And that's what Han said as well. He said, if the market ever shifts towards that, we will be right there. But listening to his tone and language, they won't be as competitive. If they, if they don't discount the service, if they don't feel the need to discount the services, then AT&T wins. 
AT&T gives you a 25% overall bundle discount if you bundle wireless and fiber. AT&T, it's going to be like taking candy from a baby if Verizon doesn't discount the bundled offering. And I guarantee you T-Mobile is going to bundle and discount it as well. Maybe even more than AT&T. Maybe they do 30% or 40 Who knows? But it's a huge opportunity and AT&T is showcasing that with this chart, as I mentioned. And you can uh, pause the video, check it out for yourselves. They started tracking this in the first quarter of 21. That's when they were at 5.2 million fiber customers. And then they had signed up 1.8 million customers on the wireless side. So possibly, right? It doesn't happen all the time where right at the sign up of, on fiber, they get the wireless customer, right? Might not happen right away, but it could happen over time where... They keep engaging with the customer like, hey, we got this wireless offer. Hey, we got this wireless offer. They send uh, brochures, pamphlets to the house. Maybe even a a rep goes to the house. Hey, remember six months ago you signed up with Fiber? This is what we have now on wireless. If they continue working that customer, eventually they will sign up. And you can see it in the chart. It continues to grow through 2021, 22, 23, and now 24. It's continuing to grow. So it's simply working, and that's what they're telling the market. Just think about when they get to maybe 20 million fiber customers at a 40% rate. Think about how many more customers on wireless that will gain them as well. So it's, 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 a, it's a win-win situation for them. It, it's a win-win situation at any rate. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I found found this to be the standout for me during the earnings call. We didn't learn much else, right? We learned the numbers. They they grew, they outgrew estimates. They had great financials. So we know that. They had the lowest churn. They will have the lowest churn in the industry. I confirmed that again in this video. I confirmed it in the first one. They will end up with the lowest churn. Right? But this piece right here, this is something new. This is something that we learned that's new. And I think it's a big deal for what's about to come. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Follow my social media. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.